Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yes. You got me with the punch yeah. up. Yeah, I was sick. Yes. You got me with the punch yeah. up. Yeah, I was sick. All the taekwondo skills are coming back, mate. Yeah. 
Off you. Uh, Literally, everything just bangs off you. I like a machine. <laughs> yeah, I think we're doing that. That's good, man. You're killing me. <laughs> okay, so I want to start just by thanking you for that because not many people get the opportunity to spar with an MMA legend. And uh, well, I haven't sparred in a while, as you probably can see how tired I am. But it wouldn't have made a difference with this guy. He's literally like the Terminator. If you were to kick him, he's just solid. Everything bounces off him. Obviously we are going a little bit light, you know, we don't want to smash each other, you know, so maybe if we start putting a bit more contact in, but then you, know, you end up killing me anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, really thank you for that. Thank you for looking after me when we were through. We kept him more for stand-up fighting, as, as I'm sure you're aware, he has great abilities with the wrestling and the takedowns, so we left those out a little bit and focused more on the stand-up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have you got... Key thing, guys, is all about being a good partner, right? Just because you get touched here and there, Everyone's gonna get hit in practice. You're gonna get hit in a match and in the street You're hoping you don't get hit But if you do get hit roll with the punches learn from it and be a good partner and the, the more you You're able to work with each other the better both yeah. You know partners get can you imagine us doing that every day what ability we both get to and then we up it Obviously safer and it gets more contact a little bit more playful. We know we're still looking after each other where it's more intense. You imagine how fit you, you, you get from that, just doing that every day. And then also just getting used to the impact of stuff. You can see here we took a couple of shots both of us. We're not, not damaged, we, we're just going nice and playful. We tap each other and then that's it. We reset, start again. It's nice and playful and fun. So I hope you enjoyed it, anything? Yeah, yeah. what um, uh, Ginger Ninja, I like, I like that name so much I gotta use it, right? <laughs> but um, what he's good at is timing and his side kick is very powerful. And he's got that lead jab with that lead hook, so the check hook. So me, if I stand in front of him, I'm 100% in front of him. My goal is to take a 50, yeah, get a or lot 50 on the other side, or get to a zero, get behind him. And once I, get, I got behind him a few times, I could have opened up, but I didn't. And then a few times, he threw his hook kick, and I was coming in, and he, he pumped the side kick. Because of that dynamic leg work, I thought the kick's moving past. I said, yeah, I got past it, but I got checked with this side kick. So traditional martial arts does have a lot of benefits. One is technique, two is actually power, and three is your timing. So if you add all kinds of different elements, make sure you keep your teacup half filled. You already know what you know, but take in what someone else can offer you. I know now if I miss a kick, I'm gonna follow up with that sidekick, which I've, I've gotten away from, mm -hmm. and I need to get back to my sidekick. I think, yeah, because obviously the difference in styles as well, mine's obviously mainly Taekwondo stand-up. I teach everyone for it. We got kicks just above the belt. I obviously do a bit of leg kicks with the tie boxing, but I mainly focus on my Taekwondo. And uh, the, like, the reason like, I peel back is to avoid like, the hooks and then I can jab my sidekick, even going to the back kick if they keep moving forward. But you've got a good, so good, obviously, once you close the distance, you can grab, you can, do all those different things, which obviously I haven't got in my arsenal, well, nowhere near as, as, as much as you. So it, it's, it's great that you can see the differences and he's looking after me when he gets to that range, he knows he could open me up and he stops. Same as like, I know I probably could have caught you with more kicks if I went harder and faster, but then obviously I'm not looking after him either. So the scenario we've done and we're, we're sparring, we're looking after each other, we're not getting damaged, we're enjoying ourselves and we're learning from each other. I think that's, that's one of the main things when, you, when you're sparring, right? You don't want to damage your partner because they're not there tomorrow to train with. So, you know, I've learned a lot today and with the little habits you get from like the stand-up, like the peeling back, it invites obviously something else for your game. So then if I was sparring someone like you again, then I think oh, I'm not gonna use that and then play to different strengths. Yes, remember, iron sharpens iron. <laughs> All right, thank you support. Team GNT, make sure you go follow Kung Lee on everything as well. Thank you very much. Peace out.